Shares of quantum computing stocks having a volatile start to the year after a steep run up in late 2024. Many are now down double digits in 2025 and concerns about just how soon the technology might be commercially viable. So our Kate Rooney did some digging, dropping in on a leading quantum lab in Silicon Valley for today's Tech Check. Kate. Hey, Mike. Yeah, so that's where we are now. We went behind the scenes at Psy Quantum. It's a venture-backed startup here in Silicon Valley. It's building high-powered computers that investors expect to be the next transformational technology after generative AI. The hype that we've seen around this industry is based on its potential to solve really complex problems that wouldn't be possible with classic computers right now. It all hinges on quantum physics, hence the name. It uses quantum bits or qubits that makes it possible to explore multiple problems at once, which can be especially groundbreaking for complex math. Could be applied to drug discovery. Think of things like aerospace, encryption, material science, energy, genomics, and more. A lot of people, really serious technical people, told me that self-driving cars would never happen in my lifetime. Too complicated, too difficult. And of course, now every other car that we see in Silicon Valley, in, in, in San Francisco, is a Waymo. Um, and so quantum computing has a similar sort of trajectory. In order to make the physics work, these machines need to be stored at some of the coldest temperatures on Earth. They use liquid helium to get to negative 455 degrees Fahrenheit. That is basically as cold as it is in deep space. And the cost of building these machines is also stratospheric. So Amazon... Intel and Google are all racing for a commercially viable quantum computer as well. And then Google's breakthrough in the fall is really part of what sparked this mania that we've seen recently in markets. Names like Rigetti, IonQ, some of the publicly traded names were up as much as 1,000% last year. And then NVIDIA's Jensen Wong took some of the air out of that, saying it's as far as 30 years away from really being impactful. The co-founder you heard from, Pete Shadbolt, thinks the timeline is more like within the current decade. And while the opportunity is huge, these aren't actually live. The consensus is that in order to have a working version of all this, it's going to take one million qubits. So to put this in context, guys, today, the most advanced quantum computers out there, they're closer to 100 qubits. Back to you.